case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case that ignited intense conversations about disciplinary measures in educational environments, two high school guitarists sued their school district under federal civil rights statutes. The students, Sean Dunn and Bill McCullough of Fairfield Community High School in Illinois, faced stringent disciplinary measures after veering off the planned music program at a school event with unauthorized guitar solos. Bucking against their school's strict policy against musical deviation, the retaliatory F grade given to them for the band course pushed them to seek legal recourse. McCullough also suffered an additional setback. His deviation cost him his graduation with honors. Dunn and McCullough directed their outrage and sought justice through a lawsuit. They claimed that the harsh disciplinary actions violated their constitutional rights and the Illinois school code. However, both lower and district courts upheld the school's decision. Even if seemingly extreme, the disciplinary steps were perfectly aligned with the school's policy and did not breach any federal or state law. In a pivotal statement, the court emphasized the limitation of the 14th Amendment against state deprivations in providing protection to the students. The students' quest for federal constitutional protection fell flat as it is not coextensive with the right to free public education, a right acknowledged under Illinois law but not federally. The court referenced the Supreme Court's decision in County of Sacramento v. Lewis, noting that negligent conduct can hardly ever meet the constitutional threshold and asserting the narrow scope of the substantive due process doctrine. The claims by Dunn and McCullough failed to convince the court, primarily given that education is not a fundamental right and the school's disciplinary measures were not capriciously arbitrary. The stringent school policy found solid grounding in the need to maintain an orderly education milieu. While the Supreme Court may have had reservations about the school's severe penalties, it did not find any substantial grounds for the students' constitutional claims. Thus, the disciplinary dispute ended on a sour note for the two ambitious guitarists. The higher courts affirmed the judgment of the district court tethering their affirmation strictly to the narrow understanding of the substantive due process doctrine. Dunn and McCullough had acknowledged no less than violating a school rule, a valid concern warranting disciplinary action in the view of the school district. Thus, their claim under the 14th Amendment fell significantly short of the constitutional requirement. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.